What's up, YouTube? This is Chew Raw 4 TV. So on a recent episode of The Shop, LeBron James uh, spoke his piece on the Brittany Griner situation, all right? He says that if he were Brittany Griner, he wouldn't want to come back to the United States. He would question uh, the United States' commitment in trying to seek uh, my freedom. Of course, Brittany Griner is the WNBA star player who has been held in custody in Russia since, I think, late February after having drug paraphernalia found on her, all right? She faces up to 10 years uh, in Russian imprisonment. Um, normally, when it comes to social uh, issues, I tend to side with LeBron James. This is one where I can't rock with him. <clears throat> I can't. Look, at the end of the day, we know how this country is. I'm talking about this country. When it comes to us being priorities, right? I mean, we know that, right? When it comes to the Democratic Party, and I, I hate to keep always talking politics, but it's relevant. How many times have me and some others on here constantly preach that we are always on the back burner when it comes to these types of things, when it comes to the agenda, when it comes to us being a priority on, on anything, we are always on the back burner. It, it shouldn't be that way, but that's just the fucking how it is in this fuck up country of ours, right? Um, so, I don't know what LeBron James and Brittany Griner and uh, her supporters all expect from this dude, man. Joe Biden, we've warned you about this guy. He doesn't care? Joe Biden is a corporate to me, Joe Biden is a corporate, conservative, semi-Dixiecrat masquerading as a liberal Democrat when it suits him because the party has lurched to the left over the past 50 years. But he is not a progressive, okay? He, ha he didn't support the $15 uh, minimum wage uh, hike. It's a lot of things that Bernie Sanders championed that he poo-pooed. Think about it. Bernie Sanders, who's supposed to be the real progressive, right? They did everything they could to fuck him over to put this guy in. He's the status quo. He'll talk a good game when he can talk properly, but look, man, at the end of the day, don't expect anything from these motherfuckers. And if she feels like she's better off over there, she can stay her ass over there. And, and, and this is my problem. Like, I know I've seen some people like, it's like I'm, 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 I don't have a heart or anything like that. I'm, look, me personally, me personally, her crime is not egregious. I don't think she should spend more than three weeks in prison, in my opinion. Okay, that's just me. But guess what? When you go to other people's countries, you have to respect their rights and their laws. I can, and you, we can talk about how stupid another country's laws are from the comfort of being in this country. Because as fucked up as this country is, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. And when you go to another country, the first thing you should do, one of the first things you should do, is to educate yourself on their basic laws. Anything that you do that's a vice, I actually, you know, I obviously, anything that you do as a vice, you should try to figure out how do this country, do they have any guidelines and laws, uh, that 
will punish me for these things. Um, you know, any country. And the problem I have is people keep trying to equate her to a political prisoner. See, if she was just over there, and she was over there, right, and she had been kidnapped by the government and being held hostage for, say, someone that the United States is, is, is in their mind is holding hostage or they should be rightfully released, then that would make grit. Uh, Brittany Griner, political prisoner, and my whole stance on this would be totally different. That would make her a political prisoner. She's not. She was arrested because she broke the law. She broke their law. Okay, we may, as fucking uh, arrogant, selfish, self-centered Americans, may not want to respect their laws, but it's their fucking laws in this system over there. If you broke the law, you have to deal with the consequences, just like we do, right? We got to deal with the fucking consequences, all of us. And it's not because she's a, a, a black woman. That's everybody over there with fuck up when, it, when it comes to their drug laws. That's one thing I'll say about them. It's everybody. No matter what color you are over there. So... That's just the breaks. I I mean, I, I don't want her to spend 10 years of her youth or eight years or whatever the fuck it is. But it is what it is. And like I said before, and I'll end this video on this, what do you expect from Uncle Joe? Now, if this was, say, hmm, if this was Jenna Bush or Chelsea Clinton, oh, this would be a whole different situation. Russia would already, uh, they would have done, Russia would already have, uh, months ago, have released her to the United States. But that would have been based upon the white supremacy system here because she would have been the first priority. So in a way, I see LeBron's point, but the anger is a waste. This is how it is in this country. It's fucked up. Let me say this too. <clears throat> there are a lot of billionaires sitting in prison in Russia. A lot of them. Um, that's not really a democracy over there. <laughs> it's basically a dictatorship masquerading as a semi-democracy. But Putin, for all intents and purposes, is a dictator. And, you know, with all of the shit going on with Russia and Ukraine, why would you bring your ass over there anyway? That's all I got to say about it, man.